presenting the Summer Quest 2023 Book Club selection, The One and Only Bob by Catherine Applegate. Chapter One, Confession. Look, nobody's ever accused me of being a good dog. I bark at empty air, I eat cat litter, I roll in garbage to enhance my aroma, I harass innocent squirrels, I hog the couch, I lick myself in the presence of company. I'm no saint, okay? And while I'm at it, I may or may not have eaten a pepperoni pizza with anchovies when nobody was looking. Also, I may or may not have eaten a coconut vanilla birthday cake when nobody was looking. Also, I may or may have not eaten a Thanksgiving turkey, except for the stuffing, way too much rosemary, when nobody was looking. Nobody looking. That seems to be the common thread. As they say on the crime shows, motive and opportunity. Robert. Name's Bob. I'm a mutt of uncertain heritage. Definitely some chihuahua with a smidgen of papillon on my father's side. You're probably thinking I'm some wimpy lap dog, the kind you see poking out of an old lady's purse like a hairy keychain. But size ain't everything. It's swagger, attitude. You've got to have the moves. Probably I should have been named Bruiser or Bam Bam or Bandit, but Bob's what I got and Bob will do me just fine. Julia named me long time ago. She's my girl. She calls me Robert when I get on her nerves. Happens pretty often, to be honest. Numero uno. There's an old saying about us dogs that goes like this. It's no coincidence that man's best friend can't talk. Let me tell you something. If we could talk to people, they'd get an earful. You ever hear anyone mention man being dog's best friend? Nope, didn't think so. Way I figured it. End of the day, you got to be your own best friend. Look out for numero uno. Learned that one the hard way. That's not to say I don't have a best pal. I do. Gorilla, name of Ivan. Big guy and I go way back. Gorilla and dog. Yep, I know. You don't see that every day. Long story. I love that big old ape. Ditto our little elephant friend, Ruby. They're the best. How we met. The first time I met Ivan, I was a homeless puppy, desperate, starving, all alone. It was the middle of the night and I'd slipped into the mall where Ivan lived in a cage. I wandered a bit, grateful for the warmth, confused by the weird assortment of sleeping animals I found there, checking every trash can for anything edible. There was a small hole in a corner of Ivan's enclosure. He was fast asleep, cuddled up with a warm, stuffed animal that looked like a weary gorilla. He was snoring, and man, that guy snored like a pro. In his open palm was a chunk of banana, and I still get shivers when I think about this. I ate it right out of his hand. Guy could have squeezed his fingers shut, and I would have popped like a puppy balloon, but he just kept on sleeping. And then more shivers. I am either a maniac or the bravest dog on the planet. Probably a little bit of both. I hopped onto that big, round, furry tummy of his. That's right. I climbed Mount Ivan. Crazy, I know. I have no idea what I was thinking. Maybe I was so exhausted I went a little bonkers. Maybe he just looked so warm and cozy that I figured it was worth taking a chance. I did my bed boogie. Dogs don't feel right till we do a quick dance before settling. Once I had things just so, I lay down in a little puppy lump and rode the waves on that tummy like a puny boat on a great brown sea. When Ivan opened his eyes the next morning, he didn't seem surprised in the least to find a puppy snoozing on his belly. He refused to move until I woke up. I think he was as glad as I was to have found a new friend. <laughs>